Though not visually stunning, it's big news for Kamloops and for Thompson Rivers University. The first of Bell's AI fabric facilities will come online in June, with a second local facility planned for next year in partnership with TRU. Very large pipes. What does that mean right now? 15 new jobs on site and dozens of other support positions from the trades. So in this facility alone, during construction, there was 150 tradespeople uh, and, and tens of millions of dollars invested in Huge deal for Kamloops. I mean, this becomes an anchor for Bell for their network of systems that are going to go throughout Canada support AI. The dry climate in Kamloops and the availability of space made it a perfect launch pad for this AI infrastructure. The name of Kamloops itself means meeting of the waters, and as a result, we're surrounded by hydro dams up all of those rivers, all of those waters. Um, th that hydropower gives us very resilient power and a, a large access to a lot of power. TRU has a large trades program, so that means lots of workers for projects like this one. Kyle Kerr is excited about the possibilities for guys like him. I am terminating these wires in the transformer. It's in town work, um, and for a young guy like myself, it's, it's nice to be able to still be at home doing like cool projects like this. Love it or hate it, AI technology is here to stay. All of it housed out of a simple looking rack system like this one. As a, as a person is asking a query to that AI, um, those requests are actually coming in to those 80 racks, and then that answer is coming back to that individual instantaneously. Above, you see all of the cooling and electrical infrastructure that goes into to cooling these racks, uh, and powering these racks, and then taking that heat energy away, and in this case, to be used by 12 local industrial users to heat their buildings and their processes. Kamloops, the first to go live with this network in June, a facility in Merritt, B.C. will open later this year. Shelley Joyce, CBC News, Kamloops.